Oh, it's the Christmas catalog countdown. First up on the Christmas catalog countdown table today is the Christmas 1989 catalog from Toy Master. I was actually surprised to learn that Toy Master still exists here in the UK. I weirdly thought they'd gone out of business, but no, checking the website today, they are very much in business with multiple stores all over the UK, so that's really good to see. These particular ones here are from Paisley and Clarkston. Never been to either of those. This was bought off eBay quite a while ago. So let's take a look inside and see what was what was on offer for the toys in 1989. As a lot of these catalogues, they've got a wide range from young kids, older kids, boys and girls, and outdoor and indoor toys. Just having a look here, see if there's anything I had when I was younger. Oh, now, there we go. Three wheel scooter. Let's have a look at that one there. I can't remember if I had a, I don't think I had a three wheel version of that, but I certainly had the two wheel, because I remember the metal and the, the design of the wheels at mine were yellow. It's really good. Also, actually, just, just skipping back there slightly. I like the kind of premise. Can you see that there? The sort of explainer about who they are and kind of their little kind of family kind of orientated kind of statement there for Toy Master and kids. I think that's really nice. Prices are applicable until the 24th of December 1989. Well, I have got here with me the Bank of England inflation calculator. So we're going to have a look at some of these prices and work out how much they would cost in today's money. And also, where batteries are required, these are not included unless so specified. Things haven't changed in 2023 because it's still the same. Duplo. Obviously, Lego, massive. Duplo is still a massive thing today. Oh, the big red fun bus. Big red fun bus. Can you see that? Awesome. I always remember the big red, red fun bus. And, oh, it's like a yellow teapot and some kind of treehouse thing. But I always remember those. I'm always wanting one. I think that's going to be the, the theme of these catalog rundowns. What I always wanted. Let's have a look here. We've got Super Cup Football and Sabutio. Sabutio's still going to these days. And Super Cup Football is also something that I always wanted. Kind of electronic version of Sabutio. Toys still very much split into boys and girls. You still get that in like Smith's Toys today where you've got the very pink aisle and the very long pink aisle. Which is a bit of a shame because I always like to think that Especially nowadays, girls and boys toys, anyone can play with anything, but in the 80s, it was very much a distinct line. Look at this. <laughs> See that? This supermarket checkout thing. So that's $14.99. Right, let's do, our, let's do our first price check on something. $14.99. Stick it in here. $14.99. That is approximately... £37.93 pence in today's money. Wow. All right, moving swiftly on. Oh, the Britain stuff. Look at this. Oh, that, here we're getting to the more exciting stuff, folks. If you're a boy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going back to what I just said. You've got the Britain stuff. I had that castle. I think I had the, a lot of the night stuff as well. You've also got weird, weird concept of Ring Raiders. Who remembers Ring Raiders? In random concept. I had some of the Ring Raiders there. Uh, let's have a look. Doesn't have a price for the Ring Raiders. The new exciting action play range, which would appeal to boys of all ages. Here we go. Ah, here we are. It's Action Force. G.I. Joe for the American... International viewers of this video, Action Force Tomahawk 1995. So let's have a look and see how much that is an approximation. 50 pounds, 50 pounds, 57 pence. It's just madness. Can't imagine something costing that much 
sort of a, as a toy, but I kind of look at some of the toys you do actually see in the shops, and you're probably right. It would be about fifty pounds in this in this money. Some honourable mentions on this page are Hormy Railways and Scale because they're still as popular today as they were back in 1989. And also Manta Force. Manta Force was really cool on the shelves, but I never really got any of those ones back in the day. Moving on to the next page, what we've got here is some more less toys, more art and creative stuff. I'm having a look for a hat. It says it's called Cyclograph. Can you see that? Cyclograph there? I thought it was called Spirograph, and that's, that's, that's from Parker, unless that's some kind of equivalent. Likewise, we've got Criola and play still around to this day, and... Oh, that's interesting. Etch-a-Sketch, which is obviously the main one, but MB did one called Magna Doodle, which is obviously the same thing, and a bit more expensive. That's interesting. Let's have a look and see how much Etch-a-Sketch would be to this day. Approximately £20 for an Etch-a-Sketch, which is probably about right, actually. Uh, dolls and baby stuff. Interesting thing, we got any My Little Pony? I'm expecting to see Barbie, a little bit of Barbie. Oh, hello, down the bottom here. Keepers, remember these? Where you had like the keys for the little things and you could open them up and put like secrets and stuff in. It was kind of fascinated me when I was a kid. Good to see them. Ah, oh, Australian Family. Again, something that is highly collectible these days and still knocking around as well. Right, moving into outdoor toys stuff and musical instruments, cool. Drum kits, music violin, and what else have we got here? Traditional Doll's House, that's quite good. Traditional Doll's House there, 1999. Let's have a look and see how much that would have cost. Again, 50 pounds. A swing set, trampoline, Standard stuff, actually. Oh, hello. Look at this. Gun. Don't see many guns for sale. Oh, you do see guns for sale, like, in Smith's Toys, but they were more prevalent back in, sort of, the 80s for obvious reasons. Oh, electronic stuff. What have we got here? Let's have a look. We've got... Hey, <laughs> look at this. Oh, awesome. The Paul Daniels magic set. If you're not from the UK, Google Paul Daniels. He was famous. UK magician of his time. Died quite recently, I think, actually. It was a bit sad. I remember this, the uh, Intercom phone set. Because obviously that's replicating the phones of the era, and they were really cool. I think my friend had one of them, or did I have one? I can't really remember. They're what, like, eight ninety nine pounds £9? How much is that in today's money? That is £22. Stuff. Right. What else have I spied on here now? There's a few things on here that I've seen. So, first off, you've got the Fisher Price cassette recorder. I definitely had one of them. Twenty-four pounds. How much that's worth in today? Twenty-four quid. So say, what is it? Twenty-four seventy-five. Let's say twenty-five pounds. Sixty-three pounds for a cassette recorder. Wow, it's actually quite expensive. Now I remember Afterburner. Afterburner. Let's flip this over. Grandstand made a lot of those big electronic games and basically it's just like one of those ones in your hand but it's got like a proper joystick as you can see. I always remember that one, that was really cool. So that is, let's have a quick squiz at that price, £34.95, pounds, £88 for that, £88 in today's money, I don't think that's probably worth it. You've got things like, is that battleships there? And all these kind of like electronic toys, the police chase toys, the Tommy ones, they're really cool. Oh, hello. Sorry. That's good. That's not the original, but that is quite cool. But look at this. Live the adventures of Indiana Jones with exciting game book used with the Challenger electronic one. So that's this. Challenger can be programmed for over 50 game functions. I don't know. And look at that. Never seen that before. That is really interesting, that. You see that there? That is really interesting. Never seen that before. Something to look up for in the future, just out of interest. That's 17 quid for the thing. 
42 pounds. Huh. I'll look up for that. I've not seen that before. Thank you, Toy Master. Meccano, still around today. Play School, obviously a massive brand. Brio, got my son Brio, so that's still knocking around. It's brilliant. All the Tonka stuff, I had some of those, not exactly the one. Remote control cars. And had a telescope. Actually, weirdly, I think the telescope was a lot like that. I can't remember, it was, I wasn't, it wasn't in 1989, but I had something very similar to that. It's really cool. How much is that? That is 25.99, so that's like 26 quid. 65 pounds for a telescope. And then you've got, oh, obviously the classic Lego, Lego pirate ship. Actually, is that the what that they have re recently re-released? So that's a pirate ship there. How much are we looking at that? It's number nine, 47.95. Pirate ship Dark Shark. I think they've re-released that quite recently, you know, as a kind of legacy model. But let's just have a look and compare it, if I can, with today's pricing. So that's 47.95, 48 pounds. Stick it in the old calculator. It comes out at Ooh, 121 pounds. Actually, <laughs> ironically, that's probably about right for some of these big Lego sets to this day. Oh, one more shout out. Airfix. Again, something that has been around and is still around to this day. Ah, board games. Board games. So let's have a look and see what we have got here. It's still around to this day. Pop up pirate. Yes. Connect four. Yes. Buckaroo. I've got that. Frustration. Pretty sure I've seen that one. Whack Attack. Now, haven't seen that knocking around. Peter Pan games. Is that Peter Pan playing things? Yes. I'm pretty certain Whack Attack must have been around. It's kind of like Whack a Mole if you are uh, unfamiliar with it. Let's just have a quick look at that. £13.45. Say £14. Get in 35 pounds for that. What else have we got here? The Snapdragon game looks remarkably like Hungry Hungry Hippos, but with dragons with long necks in a simpler form. Hungry Hungry Hippos is still available as well to this day. Uh, hamburger game, I've heard of that one before. Hangman, obviously. Right, we've got some interesting things here. We've got the Neighbours game, which I have heard about and I have seen, which is based on the highly popular Australian TV show, but was really popular in the UK. We've also got on the other side, just as a bit of a contrast, the Antiques Roadshow and EastEnders board game. Now, I'd heard about the EastEnders board game, but not the Antiques Roadshow. Now, for context, Antiques Roadshow in the UK is a program on Sundays where people take their antiques to these big events and the experts tell them how much they're actually worth. No. Oh, designed to test your knowledge of antiques. I didn't know that was a board game. So, again, something new. Scrabble, Uno, Oggle, Rattleships, they're all standard stuff. Wheel of Fortune, obviously, is a Really popular TV show, as we know. Bigfoot, I'm guessing, is based after the film, judging by the images there. <laughs> We've got another TV show on. Do I show this? Yeah, why not? It's kind of context of history. Bearing in mind, this is 1989, but can you see that down the bottom? Strike it lucky. Uh, Michael Barrymore. Let's not talk about Let's Google it if you're not from the UK, but it was a very popular TV show of its time. Right, there we go, and this is the end of the catalogue. So these are all the different stores all over the country, everywhere from Avon to the Channel Islands. That's interesting. So a lot of stores, like I said at the start, a lot of stores still available in the UK today, which is really nice to see. So there we are. There is the Toy Master Christmas 1989 vlog. Hope you enjoyed that. Please check back soon for the next instalment of the 2023 Christmas Catalogue Countdown. Until then, cheerio for now. Bye-bye.